Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my local SEO content strategy, you know, for pretty much a local landscaping business, right? So right here we have Care Green, which is a company of a good friend of mine that owns a landscaping business here in the Dallas, Texas area, right? Um, we were able to hit the first page for one of our key terms. We are ranking on the first page for Dallas Landscaping Company. Um, here we are right here. Um, and what we want to do now is moving into, you know, the next couple of months is basically built out more pages under each of our services, right? Because essentially you could have subtopics of each of these services, right? And this is because Google mainly ranks websites on two factors, one being relevancy and two being trust. So if we can do if we want to target relevancy, what we want to do is we want to create more content rich pages that are related to each of our services, right? So if we can create these sub pages under, for example, weed control, and maybe talk about different uh, services, maybe different types of weed control, we can, you know, essentially link those sub pages back to our main page in order to increase the position of this page organically, right? And if I go into, you know, do a quick competitor analysis, um, let me go into one of these. So let's go ahead and click on uh, King Landscaping. So this is a pretty big landscaping company here in the area. Um, you know, right away, they pretty much branded with the Dallas Stars. Um, you can see it looks pretty authoritative. Looks like, you know, pretty big company. Um, 35 plus years in business, right? So this is one of the competitors um, that, you know, we would be going up against, right? And a quick way to, you know, kind of find out their SEO strategy and kind of reverse engineer any SEO strategy. Um, if you're looking at your competitors, right, is basically just go in to their website and kind of see the pages, the content, the blogs that they're putting out. So you can kind of reverse engineer what they're doing and, you know, replicate that for your own website, for your own business, right? So what you can do here is, let me move this down. So if they're using a WordPress website, an easy way to figure out what pages they're building, and kind of their URL structure, um, is to simply go in and do slash sitemap.xml. And if they're using WordPress, um, it should usually pop up their sitemap right here. So you can see you have post, page, category. So let's first of all go into their page, right? This is gonna show you every physical page that is on their website, right? And right away, we can see that they're targeting many different cities, right? So if we scroll down, we can see here that they have uh, University Park Landscape Lighting Service, University Park Tree Pruning Removal Services. So they're not only targeting Dallas, right? They're targeting the surrounding cities, right? The surrounding suburbs and creating pages around uh, their same services just targeting different cities right and this would be something that we could potentially look into once we get some higher rankings you know in the dallas area you know one thing we do have to watch out here. for duplicate content right we know that google doesn't like duplicate content um, so as long as you're you know keeping unique content for each city page um at least over around 50 percent, you should be fine regarding duplicate content right so let's go back um, and looking at the URL structures, right, we can kind of see here, this is kind of just uh, keyword stuffed in the URL. You can see that the URL has, you know, Tadless Landscaping Company. And then, um, I don't know, this might look like a case study. Uh, it looks like the Walters Family Home. So this, this might look like a actual uh, home that they did, you know, a service for. And, you know, they went ahead and, you know, put in the exact keyword phrase in their URL, right? Um, which really has nothing to do with, you know, this particular page. Um, I'm guessing, you know, whoever they are, they're hiring is just, you know, building out as many of these, you know, keyword, uh, keyword rich URL pages as they can, right? They're just trying to trick Google into ranking them higher for these particular keywords. All right, so let's go back to their sitemap. And if we continue looking through here, you know, we can see that they are building out, you know, several pages around their services, right? Especially, especially that include, you know, Dallas Landscaping, right? So Dallas Landscaping Companies, Dallas Landscaping Services. So let's go ahead and open up 
this page and kind of see what it's about, right? So this would be another, you know, keyword that we would potentially want to rank for, right? We can see here um, that, you know, it looks like one of their header tags. Let's go ahead and inspect and see what header tag, right? So when they're using an H1, you can see right here. Um, and they're using, you know, that exact keyword, right? So this would be something that we would look into, right? And then again, you know, they're mentioning the exact same keyword, right? So, you know, whoever they're hiring, you know, kind of knows what they're doing um, besides just building out all these extra pages that, you know, don't really necessarily are adding any value, you know, to the, to the end user, right? They're really just creating these pages in order to link back to their homepage uh, and trying to increase that relevancy, right? So let's go back to the sitemap. And if we scroll down, um, one of the last things I did notice um, was that they, again, are, you know, pretty much repeating the same thing, right? So about Dallas Landscape Company, and it looks like they created these pages for each one of their employees, right? So you can see here, it's kind of just a very short bio about each employee, but again, they're, you know, including the exact phrase match in their URL structure, right? So you can kind of see kind of what they're doing. You can kind of understand, you know, what type of strategy these guys are doing, which is basically just building out a bunch of pages that aren't accessible, you know, from their menu and kind of directing them and pointing them back to their home page, right? Trying to increase that relevancy with, you know, the exact keywords, you know, in their URL within their actual content, right? So this would just be something that we, you know, we can make a note of, right? That we will need to build out a bunch of more pages, um, especially around, you know, our services and, you know, the cities we want to target. Um, so it's not impossible, but it will take some time, you know, creating some more pages. So let's go back to our site. So this is my client site right here. Um, so, you know, ideally we'd want to build sub pages around, you know, lawn weed control, right? So what we want to do here is you want to, you know, go into any SEO tool. In my case, I'm using Ahrefs. Um, and I just did a search, you know, in the keyword explorer tool for weed control. So you can see here uh, has a KD of 46, 4.1K search volume. But what we want to look at is the having same terms, right? This is going to give us other keyword ideas that have this exact keyword in it, right? And I'm going to go ahead and just filter this down to max KD of 30. And then what we can do here is we can kind of get other ideas of some sub pages that we can create, right? Um, so one thing that I see right away is biosafe weed control, KD zero, right? This is a very easy keyword to target. So we can make a note of that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do biosafe weed control. And then let's see, we have another one that says pre-emergent weed control. That could be another subtopic, right? This could be another thing that we can add to increase that relevancy of that page, right? All right, let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, let's see here. We have organic weed control, weed control services, pond weed control. So this could be another one, right? Talking about a specific location, you know, pond weed control. So if someone, you know, has a pond in their actual uh, location on their property, you know, maybe they're looking, you know, for pond weed control in Dallas, right? So we do want to make sure that we make a note for that. So we could potentially, you know, create more content around this topic, right? Uh, let's see here. Um, Again, we have another another good topic, garden weed control, right? So this again could be a sub page of our weed control, right? If someone has a garden they want to take care of and they need, you know, weed control services, this would be something they would be searching in Google, right? They'd be searching for gar garden weed control, right? So all these are different pages that we can create, right? And it's going to be a sub a sub page of this page, right? So for an example, our URL structure would be something like this. 
So CG Dallas Landscaping slash services slash weed control. And then, and then let's say, you know, we were trying to target um, garden, right? So what we would do here is we wouldn't repeat weed control. We just do, uh, let's put a hyphen there. So it'd just be weed control slash pond, right? This would be a sub page under weed control, right? And what we would just do is we just mention, you know, these other, these other topics on this actual page, right? We can either put it on the side, we can either put it, you know, between here um, and pretty much just link to those pages, right? And all these other pages are gonna be passing that relevancy that we want, you know, back to our weed control page, right? And there's really no need to, you know, mention Dallas in here, right? Because we already have Dallas in our actual domain. So there's really no reason of repeating the same keyword in your URL structure once you already mention it at least once, right? You don't want to over optimize. Very important. Our strategy that's going to be moving forward um, for care green landscaping. Um, that's pretty much what you have to do, guys. Nowadays, there's really no point of trying to, you know, find alternative ways of trying to rank higher, right? It's really just comes down to how much content do you have about your main services and how well is that content written, right? You want to make sure you have quality content that is optimized for the users as well as for Google, right? Um, so you do want to make sure you combine this two and just build as much relevancy back to your main pages, right? Because ideally, you know, this is going to be the page we would want to rank for, but, you know, having these extra pages, you know, these could potentially each also rank on their own, right? Um, but basically we're just powering up, you know, our main page here. And that's pretty much how you create content for a local business. Um, and you know, you can go ahead and do, you know, some competitive research like I did uh, in this video yourself. Um, it's really not hard and you can really get a good idea of what the competitors are doing and what other pages or content you can build out for your own website, for your client's website, right? That's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.